What's going on guys, Andrew Beck with another video and uh, welcome back to uh, my favorite video series on this channel where I get to talk about shoes that I've bought recently because I just don't feel like making individual unboxing videos anymore. I don't know, I just kind of like talking about shoes in bulk and uh, some shoes I do want to talk about in more specific videos. It has been one full year since I was sitting in the barber chair. My hair has gotten religiously long as my buddy Mike wants to point out. But it's also been a long time since I've been in front of the camera so we're going to talk about some shoes that I've bought recently. The first shoe we're going to talk about today is the John Elliott Nike Vandal High in the uh, black colorway. I think there were other colorways but this one was my favorite. If you go back on my Instagram far enough you can see a picture I reposted from Dennis to Disco. The first time I saw these I was was like I have to have them and then I never ended up picking them up so recently the price on the shoe has dropped down significantly so it was a lot easier to justify picking up a pair of these that I've wanted for a while and um, the only thing is I wish I'd gone down half a size because they are a bit roomy that being said though very happy to have them as uh, as with everything I'm very happy to have them in the collection and they are just they do not disappoint I'll tell you that right now moving on to the next on the list and this is in no particular order in my opinion this next shoe might just be one of the best nike collabs of the year and it's only march about to be april that being said this is the stussy hirachi desert oak colorway now if you ask me which if you're on my channel you're watching my videos you're probably wondering what i'm thinking this right here is going to go down as one of the best sneaker collabs of the year and this is not even that hard to get if you saw my instagram post you would have noticed i got the black and blue uh, dunk lows that came out the same day that these came out. I wanted these, got the dunks, ended up getting rid of the dunks because I just didn't really want them, and uh, went on StockX and found myself a pair of these. Now, I paid a little bit over retail, not too much over retail. Retail on these was $120, I paid $150, so really not that bad over retail price. Um, whoever was selling them didn't make a lot of money. I'm not really mad at that. This is definitely one of my favorite iterations of the Hirachi in a very long time. Now, I have one other pair of Hirachis, it's a white and purple. OG colorway. Um, it was a re-release from a couple of years ago, but I, uh, I was a little nervous because I didn't know how well these were going to fit. I got my regular size and they actually fit pretty nicely. So I'm really happy to have these. This is going to be a very heavy spring and summer rotation sneaker right here. One of my favorites so far of this year and possibly one of my favorite collabs of the year. We'll see though. It's a long year. We got a long way to go. Moving on, we've got a pair of Adidas's on this list. Yes, I'm still buying Nikes religiously, but I bought a pair of Adidas's. Now this shoe right here is the EQT Support Ultra MW Mastermind Worldwide collaboration right here. Now, what do I like about these aside from the colorway and the use of the Ultra Boost bottoms? Continental rubber on the bottom, Ultra Boost midsole, blue and white colorway, you cannot beat that with a hammer. Uh, what do I like about these? It's an Adidas collab that I feel is still under the radar. Now. Very, very comfortable shoe in my humble opinion. I kind of wish I went a half size up, but you really can't be mad at the fact that I paid $80 for these on StockX. Uh, Mastermind logo on the heel. You've got Mastermind written along the stripes there. You've got white laces with the Mastermind logo on the eyelets, aglets, sorry. You got Mastermind on the aglets of the laces there. And uh, these came with white laces in them. Blue laces came optional. I like the white, it is what it is. So I think I'm gonna keep the white laces in these and uh, another spring and summer rotation uh, sneaker that's gonna see a lot of action, a lot of miles because these are very, very comfortable and I hope they stay comfortable. So there you go, Adidas EQT Support Ultra MMW. Sorry, I said MW earlier, MMW. And then finally, you guys are gonna get a first look at what's in this box because this is one of those Air Max Day releases that I think people forgot about because everybody wanted the Bacons. And um, don't worry, the Bacons are on their way. The Air Max 90 Bacon is probably the last. I, I promise, this is the last Air Max 90 you'll see for a while, but I'm gonna tell you why. In that particular video, I'm gonna tell you why I think that was one of the best choices for uh, an Air Max Day release. Now, uh, just opening this box for the first time, seeing the packaging on this shoe for the first time, I haven't seen anybody really talk about this shoe. Maybe I just haven't been checking for it, but this is a... This is a very fun package, wow, oh my god. All right, so you've got Nike Air, and then you've got every single type of Air Max box you can think of on the front there. You've got, oh, there's more on this side too. There's more on this side, so you've got some hints of all these different types. Vapor Max, you've got the regular Nike Sportswear, you've got the Air Max 95, the Air Max 90 in here somewhere. 
Uh, you've got all kinds, I can't even tell you what this packaging is consistent of, it's just everything. And I think I have to actually look into the detail of the shoe before I even talk about it any further. So to take these out of the box and just talk about them for a second, this is a shoe collector's shoe. This is, this is exactly what a shoe collector should enjoy because this is just, there's nothing else in that box. It's just, it's just a cool package. Paper's nothing special, but I gotta take both of these out of the box so you can really get a feel for what I'm talking about here. When I say this is a shoe collector's type of shoe, there's so much going on here. Wow. All right, so I've actually never owned a pair of Vapor Maxes in my life. This is the Vapor Max Evo NRG. Uh, and oh god, the booklet. Yes, this is. Oh god, this is gonna be so helpful. So. Um, just to show you guys a quick up close look at each of these panels, you've got you've got all kinds of detail here, and every panel looks different. There's different materials. The top of the shoe kind of looks the same, if you could see that right there. It looks pretty much the same. A little mismatched though, uh, very mismatched, and I think that was the point was that these were supposed to be super mismatched. This is the booklet that the shoe comes with. You've got all these different Air Max iterations. Because there's a little bit of, where is that? Hang on. This is so much going on, I don't know how to do this. Ah, how do you review a shoe like this? I have to do a separate video on this. I'm gonna cut out everything I just said and I'm gonna do a separate video about this because I just rambled for about four or five minutes. Um, yeah, this is actually giving me anxiety. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a crazy looking shoe. I think I really like them though. Now that I'm seeing them, I think I really like, because when you're wearing a shoe, you kind of see it from this angle. Uh, I think I really like the way these look. Honestly, there's just so much going on. I think they're really, really cool. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed. I uh, look forward to the next one. I look forward to um, I look forward to the summer, man. I can't wait to go out and go sneaker shopping in person and stop by Unheard of again when I'm in Cincinnati. So until next time, guys, it's Andrew signing off. Ah, this is just too much. I can't. I've become flustered. I can't even begin to talk about this shoe right here. So, so until next time, this is Andrew signing off. Peace.